What comes to mind? New York. Ugly. Scurry. Gross. Ew. Bathtub scum. Feet. Well, here's a fact about these guys that may surprise you. The exterior of the cockroach is actually quite clean. That's entomologist Kobe Shaw. Cockroaches constantly groom themselves. So a cockroach will sit there and maybe start with the antennae by bringing the antenna down to its mouth and then running the antenna through its mouth parts from the base of the antenna to the tip of the antenna. Other insects do this, ants, houseflies. It's a common insect behavior, so it's been known for years. Why? They're so fastidious. No, absolutely not. Oh. So people have hypothesized about the role of grooming and specifically antennal grooming, but no one has ever investigated this. So that's what Shaw did. To understand why they groom, Shaw had to prevent the cockroaches from grooming. But how? The simplest way is to glue the mouth shut. The less simple and more roach-friendly way is to use something akin to a dog cone. Yeah, exactly. That's, it's the same concept. The advantage to doing this is that within a single cockroach, you now have an antenna that cannot be groomed, but the opposite antenna can be groomed perfectly. And when they looked at the clean and the uncleaned antennae... We very clearly saw a huge accumulation of junk on the surface of the antenna, and that junk is the cuticular hydrocarbons that are constantly excreted by the insect onto the surface. These cuticular hydrocarbons are actually good in small doses. They are absolutely critical for preventing water loss. But too much of this waxy substance is bad. It clogs the pores on the hairs of the cockroach's antenna. As you zoom in and look at these little hairs in very high magnification, you see this, this very smooth surface, and that smooth surface is the hydrocarbons occluding the cuticular pores that we should be seeing on the antenna. And clogged pores aren't just a hygiene issue. Cockroaches use these pores to smell. The cuticular pores serve to deliver the smell molecule into the inside of the hair, which contains the olfactory neurons. And when the pores are gunked up with the cuticular hydrocarbons, the antennae weren't as receptive to scents, Shaw found, which may explain why the cockroaches are constantly grooming them. But before you become too impressed with cockroach hygiene... The other thing that comes into play here is that everything that a cockroach grooms off of its body, it ingests. So if the cockroach is in a sewer system and it's bathing in this cesspool of microbes that are pathogenic to humans, the cockroach then grooms itself, ingests these, these pathogenic microbes, and then if it, if it makes its way to, into the kitchen, it can defecate those microbes onto our steak or spaghetti. Ew. Bringing us back to where we started. Gross. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.